There are few things in the world as scary as landslides. Globally, the highest number of fatalities from landslides have been in Asia and South America, as well as the Caribbean islands. Wherever slopes are steep, there's a chance they will fail. Landslides cause injuries, property damage, and in some cases, death. They also affect a variety of resources, water supplies, fisheries, sewage systems, forests, and roadways are all affected by them. Almost every landslide has multiple causes. It occurs when gravity and mass of rock, debris, or earth move in a downward slope. Landslides happen in slopes that are already on the verge of movement due to heavy rainfall, snowmelt, stream erosion, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and disturbance by humans. Even a combination of these can cause a landslide. It may seem like it rarely happens because you never hear about them, but two major ones occurred just in the last few months of 2020. Number 10. Mount St. Helen Volcano A brave student managed to capture this footage of the world's biggest and most dangerous landslide. The giant landslide occurred in 1980, and it was like opening the cap of a soda that was just shaken. Once the side of the mountain was removed, all manner of volcanic gases exploded out the side, and this blast traveled at speeds of 670 miles an hour. It caused a landslide and destroyed trees, homes, and wildlife in a 13-kilometer radius. In the area about 21 kilometers away from the volcano, the blast toppled trees and left them lying in neat rows as bare as toothpicks. Further out, the trees remained standing but severely burnt. As if that wasn't enough, a second blast followed, and it sent up a mushroom cloud more than 12 miles into the air. 57 people died as a result of this disaster, and its effects were felt in the months to come as unemployment in the immediate area rose tenfold. Landslides are not unheard of in volcanic cones. After all, they are tall, steep, and become weak with the rise and eruption of molten rock. Number 9. Jilgit, Baltistan, Pakistan In October of this year, a particularly heavy monsoon in Pakistan caused a landslide to come crashing down on a passenger bus. It killed 16 people, including four Pakistan army officials. Like we said before, Monsoons in South Asia are unforgiving. In 2020, Pakistan saw heavy rainfall, resulting in 400 people dead, 390 injured, and 217,000 homes wholly or partially destroyed. During August and early September, they were also severely hit by urban flooding, leading to high death and injury count in over 300,000 homes destroyed. The Sindh area in Pakistan feels the worst of this, and it was even declared an emergency on 25th August of this year. The landslide in this video occurred in the Jilgit Balstan region in the north, which has four great mountain ranges close together, all prone to landslides. The bus was pushed into a ditch along the road in Skardu and buried under mud and rock. This video shows the relief efforts that followed, but the authorities said the chances of finding anyone alive are slim. Number 8. The Sierra Leone Landslide Coastlines of countries are understandably vulnerable to landslides. Florida's combination of weather, weak sedimentary deposits, extreme rainfall, and steep slopes and bluffs give the perfect recipe for disaster. On 14th August in 2017, there was unusually high rainfall in Sierra Leone. Twenty inches more than in previous years. The soil could only absorb so much before reaching breaking point. That breaking point usually comes in the form of a runoff, but in this case, it went into cracks and crevices and lubricated the ground on top of a hill. Eventually, a slab of unstable earth was pulled down by gravity and came crashing down, trees and all. The deadly landslide came crashing down and a torrent of dirty brown water flooded the streets of Sierra Leone. According to relief aides, more than 600 people went missing and about 300 were found dead. More bodies were found washed up on the beach. Landslides tend to occur over and over in the same location, simply because every landslide just makes the land more vulnerable and unstable. Any area composed of a very weak or fractured materials resting on a steep slope can and will likely experience landslides. Though the whole thing was over in just a few seconds, the aftermath was felt for a lot longer. Landslides can be prevented, however, with good engineering practices and effective land use management. Number 7. Sri Lanka Landslide 
monsoons in South Asia are without mercy. The torrential downpour at best would cause electricity shortage and at worst would cause destruction and mayhem. They have been especially bad in the last several years, thanks to rapid transformations in farming, irrigation, aerosol emissions, rising greenhouse gases, and a warmer Indian Ocean. In 2016, rains caused a massive landslide to crash down onto three villages in Sri Lanka, and more than 200 families went missing, perhaps buried under the rubble. 16 bodies were recovered, and 180 people were rescued. More than 300 soldiers were joined by local residents to help dig through the mud and the debris to recover more bodies. The total populations of the villages are unknown, but villages of that size tend to have no more than 1,000 to 1,500 people. The rains also unleashed mudslides and severe flooding in the capital city, Colombo, and tens of thousands of homes were destroyed. Number 6. Big Sur, California This one was caught on a camera all the way from space. That's how big it was. Jaw-dropping before and after satellite images of the California coastline were released in 2017. The landslide sent over a million tons of rocks and dirt across Highway 1 that overlooks the Pacific Ocean. It occurred on 20th May of 2017, but there was a smaller landslide earlier in the spring before this one. It's possible that the smaller landslides caused the big one that changed the coastline of the state, which wouldn't be uncommon. Much of California's coastline is vulnerable and open to collapse. But luckily, these areas are not so populated. We've moved a tremendous amount of material here, tens if not 100,000 yards. The destruction covered about 0.3 miles of the highway and caused 16 acres of land to jut out of the Big Sur coastline. It caused Highway 1 to close for a year while work was underway. While it's open now, it isn't any less risky. Even today, there are still small rocks coming down, and you can hear it. Number 5. Pangi Valley, Himachal Pradesh Pangi is a town in Himachal Pradesh, quite remote and rugged and poorly developed. The Pangi Valley has residents living at elevations of 7,000 to 11,000 feet above sea level. There is a small pass called the Sash Pass, open for vehicles only from mid-June to October, but mostly closed due to heavy snow. It is, in fact, one of the world's most dangerous roads, even when it's open. For a place as remote as this, natural disasters just hit harder. A landslide just this year caused massive damage to the apple orchards in the area and had the laborers here running helter-skelter looking for a safe place as giant boulders came crashing down. One boulder landed on a house and killed a 40-year-old Nepali man. This footage of the rocks breaking off the mountain and falling was captured by some workers, and needless to say, it's pretty scary. Number 4. Vargas Tragedy the Vargas tragedy occurred in the winter of 1999 in Venezuela, when torrential rains caused flash floods and mud flows that killed tens of thousands of people. It led to a complete and utter collapse of their infrastructure. They were buried under almost 10 feet of mud, and many homes were simply swept into the ocean. I don't know what to do any further. We're waiting for God's help. Entire towns wholly disappeared, and 10% of their population died in the disaster. The coastal areas of the state have experienced mudslides and flooding before, but not to this extent. Before the 1999 tragedy, the most recent one occurred in 1951, which involved much less rainfall, landslides, and debris. The storm in 1991 dumped 35.9 inches of rain in just a few days, and needless to say, that was very unusual. It triggered massive soil instability and mudflows. Three films were made on the Vargas tragedy, all by Venezuelan filmmakers and released in 2011 to show the lasting impact of the event on the people of Vargas. Number 3. Thistle, Utah Thistle in Utah is, at best, a ghost town in Spanish Fork Canyon. In April 1983, a massive landslide dammed the Spanish Fork River, an 85 million meter cube of water backed up, flooding the small town. Thistle was destroyed entirely, but the residents were able to evacuate. Only a few structures managed to survive, but barely. Populations downstream from the dam were at risk because of the possible overtopping of the landslide by the lake. This would have caused a catastrophic outburst of the dam with a massive flood downstream. Federal and state governments commented that was perhaps the costliest landslide in history, with $200 million being spent to fix it. What caused it was unseasonably warm weather leading to rapid snowmelt to saturate the slope. During the rebuilding, a drain system was engineered to drain the lake and avert the potential disaster. You can still see some remains of this ghost town if you drive along the US-89 highway or the California Zephyr passenger train. Number 2. Kalud Lahar, Indonesia 
Kalud is an active stratovolcano in Java, Indonesia, and like most other Indonesian volcanoes, Kalud is known for large, explosive eruptions throughout history. More than 30 eruptions have occurred in just the last century, and it last erupted in 2014, destroying the lava dome and projecting massive boulders and ash up to 500 kilometers away. But the most severe of them was the one in 1919, when more than 40 million cubic meters of water gushed out of the crater at incredible speed. The ejection of water from the lake in the Kalud crater is typically short but violent, and the eruptions create mud flows that lead to fatalities and destruction. The dirt and heated waters traveled about 25 miles from the volcano, destroying 40,000 acres of farmland. A hundred villages were destroyed, and it killed 5,000 people. Kalud may be a small volcano compared to the other volcanoes in the Ring of Fire, but because of the lake at its summit and the frequency of its eruptions, it is just as dangerous as any other volcano. The eruption and landslide of 1919 were so destructive, in fact, that the Volcano Survey of Indonesia was formed, and their first task was to drain the lake waters from Kalud. There had been earlier attempts because of the known frequency of Kalud's eruptions. After this very destructive eruption, authorities decided to dig a tunnel to prevent a repeat of the 1919 tragedy. Number 1. Uscarin Debris Avalanche in Peru On 31st May of 1970, the Ancash earthquake in Peru caused a major mud flow to land on the town of Ungay, plus 10 other villages. The Huscaran is a mountain in the Yungay province, and its north peak was considered unstable for quite some time. In 1962, a smaller collapse had occurred, wiping out several villages near Ungay. The only reason the bigger avalanche caused the damage it did was because the government did not warn the locals. They prevented the news from spreading and asked people not to panic, which means they had no measures in place to deal with a disaster of that magnitude. 95% of all buildings have been destroyed. With a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale, the Ancash earthquake destabilized a nearby glacier and snowmass, which surged downhill and became a mud flow as it collected dirt, rock, and water with it. It reached speeds of 270 miles per hour as it came crashing down, and heavier debris may have launched ahead at speeds of 680 miles per hour. It took about a minute and 45 seconds after the earthquake hit for the landslide to occur. It caused a staggering 25,000 deaths and might be the deadliest avalanche or glacier-related disaster ever. Only 400 people are known to survive the Great Peruvian Earthquake. The debris covered 3,700 acres of land and reached depths of 20 meters in some places. Unge was buried under 5 meters or 16 feet of debris. Much of the mud that buried the city eventually got washed away in a few days, leaving behind large rocks which you can see even today. I guess the moral here is to prepare. Treat our environment properly, and most of all, never forget the formidable nature of the planet and what it is capable of doing.